Hello, this is Age of Empires 3 Wednesday. I am Tom Chick playing the Sioux, and I am here with... Me, Jason McMaster. Who are you playing today? The French. As always. Uh, what's, As our, always. what's our total score so far, McMaster? Two to one. Some asshole is two. That's me. And I'm one. <laughs> All right, we do uh, not have a naval map this time. That happened last week, and it resulted in a seven-hour game, give so or take. So I actually have to actually village and try this time. Okay. Well, I wouldn't, you know, don't don't put yourself out yeah. there too much. Yeah, okay, I won't. I, I, I see what you're saying. I don't, I don't want to make it too hard on you. I hope you do uh, use your naval deck, though, because it does look, this map, it might, not, it might not be a naval map, McMaster, but it looks awfully wet. It does look wet. So, Actually. you need you probably need your frigate. You could probably build a frigate or one of your monitors uh, in one of these puddles. You probably could. You're right. I think so. I can't wait to see your canoes. McMaster, I want you to check the uh, message log right now and see who's now ahead in terms of muskrat oh, gathering. What a jackass. Oh, Try God. It. I have way more muskrats than you do. Well, it's... Probably because you like muskrat love so damn much more than I do. I do. That but... is a great song, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Are we supposed to eat these turkeys on this map? Uh, I'm not going to tell you what to do, <laughs> but I mean, uh, no, none of my people landed here on Plymouth Rock and I had a special dinner or anything, so I, I, I don't know. Oh, wait, no, I see. There's also deer. There's deer and turkey in the bayou. Is that... Born in the bayou. is that realistic, by the way? Do turkeys really live in a bayou? Yeah. Yeah, okay. they can. Okay. How do you I'm know that? I'm pretty sure, at least. Uh, I'm living in the south. There's wild turkeys and stuff ah, everywhere. Right. So, I mean, sure. you know, I just assume, you know, because we have a lot of bayou here. Um, no, I mean, in the south, not at my house. That would be terrible. Yeah, if it's in your house, you should get that stuff cleared out. Yeah, just get straight away. All right, I'm... Uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to be able to really sustain myself on these turkeys for very long, McMaster. And why is that? Well, because they're they're tiny. There's not there's not a lot of turkey to be eaten in one of these things. Well, you got to conserve. I thought the Indians used every part of the animal. Oh, good you gotta point. Eat beak and stuff. Turkey beak. Uh, check out the message on your on the screen there. Look what look what I've got. I'm good. <clears throat> okay. If you don't want to know what's coming, <sighs> and you might want to just consider uh, scouting a little bit this time. No, I don't like scouting. All right, I'm selecting a deck, McMaster. I'm going for uh, my naval deck. You should. I think that's the best one uh, for this particular situation. Which one is this? Oh, that's a really good one. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we'll send that one. Uh ho! Some little jackass wandering around. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Check out your messages again. Look, oh. I'm the muskrat lord. I have so many muskrats in this game. <laughs> yeah, I like the muskrat king. You can do anything. All right, McMaster, I'm neglecting my economy, which I probably I agree. Do. Yeah. What are you trying to pull on me here, Chick? Oh my God! Are you really attacking my fortress? Oh shoot! No! What, what is he scout? doing? What is he doing? I didn't tell him to do that. <laughs> Whatever. God, you can't trust you. <laughs> no I believe rush. that guy did that. <laughs> yeah, it's not really effective at this point. Stupid Cajun turkeys. Oh my god. Well, at least I know where you are. No, you don't. Get out of there. <laughs> Good point. No reason. No reason to. No reason to stick around. Oh my god. Uh, How's your economy going, by the way? Slowly. Alright. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Alright, I'm neglecting all sorts of things, Master. This is not... Some jerk that doesn't have to build houses. Uh, we live in the open plains. <coughs> the stars are our roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Oh, you know what? I could have eaten berries instead of turkey. Duh. Oh, or cake. No. no, we don't have cake. We haven't invented it yet. No. Well, who was I thinking of? That would be the, uh... Oh, shoot him! Get... Oh, 
master. What is your guy doing? Nothing. Ignore Why him. Sneaking around here? I'm not sneaking around there. I just forgot him. Mm -hmm. oh, man. There's nothing to see over here, McMaster. You just move on. You killed, you killed my scout, didn't you? I did? I think so. Uh, I didn't mean to. Whatever, dude. I know. I know how you are. That's terrible. You poor scout. Yeah, I know. I feel bad enough. Can't imagine how he feels. He's all dead and everything. Wow. Is he saying that thing about every moment I live is agony? Is he? No, no, he doesn't get that option. I know. Okay. <laughs> uh, I had four villagers since I think the beginning of the game who've just been sitting around doing nothing. So you're welcome. I, I love these reports. Yeah. That's, that's my. That's my favorite. It's, it's my economic outlook report for the Sioux Indians. <laughs> High unemployment. High unemployment. Yep. Yeah. No, Vishka pointed out that uh, these are actually Cajun turkeys, so th I think they're special. Okay, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Glad to hear that now. Badass Cajun turkeys. Let's see. Come on. All right, McMaster, I'm now starting to build. I'm only. G I'm going all cavalry this time. That sounds good. So well, you should do that. I'm now. Uh, I've just made my fifth cavalry, dude. Oh my gosh, so much drama. <laughs> Come here, cat. I know. Uh, <laughs> I have a cat. Poor Shadow. <laughs> yeah. No, nope, he's now in my lap. So he's going to... Life's hard on a Shadow Cat, yeah. I have a cat advisor. I've just researched it. Oh my god, that's so unfair. Yep. You and your freaking scout. I swear to god. What, what, what? Quit shooting at him. Oh my god, oh, he's a no, scout. Is, I'm going to have to deal with this eventually. Deal with what? <laughs> the scout situation. There's nothing to deal with. It's a scout. It's like a boy mm -hmm. scout. He's just being prepared. He's a boy and he's a scout. Otherwise, I don't trust him. <laughs> That's kind of racist against scouts. Huh. <laughs> I hadn't thought of it that way. Oh, stupid ass turkeys. I'm so sick of oh, turkey. turkey. All right. All right, McMaster. It is now on. I hate to hear that. Well, not really. No. Oh, okay. Well, I don't really hate to hear that. <laughs> what is? One of my units has cover mode. What is that? Extra protection from ranged units. I hope not. <laughs> wow, I I've never used that before. Glad to know well, that it's there. I would start now. Mm, I probably yeah, I feel like I should check it out. Mm -mm, I do not think that's a good idea. Oh, way to level up. Uh -huh. I'm already cheating. Mm. <clears throat> All right, now that I am this level, McMaster, I'm going to do a thing called. Hmm. Love. The, no. Oh. I'm going to do the. Oh shoot! What should I do? I'm going to do the. Mm, this. Probably a bad idea, but I just did it. You know what? Can I undo that? I'm going to no. do this instead. All right. Change of plans, McMaster. Uh, See, that doesn't seem fair to me, but, you know, I don't make the rules. Hmm. Let's do that for my fire dance. McMaster, I'm now doing the dance called uh, Gift Dance. I'm now doing a Gift Dance over here. Well, I, um, I guess I'm happy to hear that. What um, dance are your people doing? The Neutron. <laughs> Is that a thing? That's not a thing. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, we're not a dancing type. We're not a group of dancers here. We're hardened soldiers. Mm, not, not really. Stupid French. Wow, you're hating your people. Well, they're so slow. But or at least your your slow. your villagers are cheaper, though, right? Oh yeah, they're super cheap. Yeah. Like a million dollars a piece. It's all right. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, McMaster. 
Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. slow down oh. there. Oh, yeah, that was my bad on that one. Let's see here. All right. Yeah, all right, indeed. So. I am always glad that I can queue orders in this game. Let's see. Hmm. Now that is tempting, isn't it? Shoot. Yeah, it's in that one. Yeah, I built faster than I expected. No, don't build faster than you expect. I meant, I meant slower. Okay, yeah. Oh, for God's sakes. Did you need that wagon? No. No, I didn't. Oh no, you killed my war chief. <clears throat> I wondered why I was a hundred points when I shot him. <laughs> so rude. Yeah, life is tough sometimes. What is this? Man, look at all those musketeers. What are those musketeers? Skirmishers? Villagers. Oh, villagers. <laughs> they look scary at first. Oh, no, you've got a halberdier in there. You've got. Oh, oh they're out of here, yeah. Don't tell me they're villagers when they're not. You can't lie. You can try to trick me, but no lying. Yeah, that was my bad. Uh, we just killed your uh, explorer. No, at least I know where mine is. Oh, you you ransomed yours back. Oh, okay. uh, actually, he uh, I went and grabbed him with my army. Oh, wow. Because if you uh, if you like park on his body, they'll uh, they'll wake him up. Let's see.
<clears throat> oh my god, ugh, McMaster. Hmm? A stupid card, then. Okay. Haha. -ha. You got a stupid Ish. card. Shut up. I don't want to hear it from you. That's right. You have a stupid card. Master, I'm doing the, uh, a lot. No. Shoot, what dance do I need to do? I'm doing the holy dance, McMaster. Yeah, I bet you are. For the sake of full disclosure, I just need you to know that's the dance I'm doing. <clears throat> what? Do you have your fort out yet? Oh, you're not in age three. I'm sorry. No. Oh, oh just wait. <laughs> just you wait. Okay, waiting. Well, I mean, I didn't mean it literally. <laughs> oh. We don't want you to have this, uh, you're oppressing the, what are they, the Seminoles. Yeah. Ah, get away, McMaster. <laughs> F off. Okay, excuse my frank language. Franco-German, or just... I see you. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. I totally see you. Ah, there's no room to build in this stupid swamp. Yes, there is. You just gotta want it. I do want it. No, you don't. Not really. I have a pirate on my team, by the way. What a jerk. <laughs> Actually, what is he? Is he a pirate? Yeah, he is a pirate. He's literally a pirate. What do you think of that? <laughs> Hmm, where do you think you're going? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, is that guy going? That's my pirate. Oh, you killed my well, pirate. Not anymore. What a D move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that was kind of mean. Uh, funny, but, but yeah, definitely mean. Um, uh, you know. Oh shoot, McMaster, my economy, I'm just ignoring things. Okay, can we stop fighting for a minute? Just call like a truce. Uh, sure, yeah. Actually, wait a minute, never mind. Since I'm doing God okay damn it. Here. Not really sure that I have a path to victory as the French against the Sioux. Uh, yeah, you do. It's called fortresses and artillery. Not if you horse rush me. 
It's not a rush. <laughs> it's a legitimate attack. Oh, but like, I see how it could be construed as a rush. <laughs> yes, since I can't create any troops, basically, in the first age. Well, I can't either. This is definitely second age stuff. I don't even get the, uh, what's it called? The, um, I don't even get the stables until the second age. And this is basically all my food. Like, yeah, I, but I mean, I can't with like with villagers that cost 120 meat. I mean, there's no way. So you're saying that historically, the Sioux? Well, I mean, historically, they for some reason they have like the best like supply lines in the world in this game. Um, <laughs> the Sioux do? Yeah, uh, for some reason. <laughs> The French didn't just come over here with like a couple of guys. You know, they, uh, <laughs> they actually had armies and stuff. Was the trick, I think. You sure about that? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is. They over. didn't just start out with one villager. Yeah. Wow. All right, so McMaster, do you really feel that? Uh, uh, I mean, I know that that was that was sort of me discovering. Okay, with the Sioux, you've got to get cavalry up there quickly before the French can bring in artillery. Because you definitely shut me down before with artillery, with fortresses. Uh, right. So my thinking is, get a bunch of cavalry. Don't even try for age three. Assume that McMaster is trying to get to age three for his fortress and artillery. And instead, put all those resources into, not a cavalry. You know what? A cavalry rush. Yeah, absolutely. Whereas you're yeah. kind of trying to boom up to age three, I just go straight to a cavalry rush. Uh Right. Do you, if you genuinely feel, and maybe we'll see next week, if you genuinely feel that's unbeatable, I'm happy to switch sides. We can each go to a different... We can declare, hey, the Sioux are better than the French. Let's now try different races. So we'll see how that goes next week. Um, yeah. yeah let's, oh, let's look at the stats, by the way. Let's see if actually... Going to post-game. Um, by the way, Ding, did you go up a level? Uh, to two, yeah. I mean, but not three. I mean, I, I never made it three now. I went up. You you earned. I only earned one level. Did you earn more than one level? Like if you go to the award screen. Oh, I don't think I won any, honestly. Okay, let's look at the uh, villager thing. Cause I felt like I was kind of screwing it. Yeah, oh. no, I didn't. I didn't go full. Yeah, I totally plateaued because I guess I was pouring all my food into cavalry at a certain point. Yeah. Uh, and you can see where I started harrying you here, uh, just being a real d hole to you there, oh, killing yeah. villagers. Let's look at military unit count. Oh! Man, yeah, I, I mean, totally expected to completely all... outstrip you on that, but... Well, yeah, I mean, you had... I don't... You, you, the dancing, I mean, I can't beat it because I can't do upgrades. And you have, like... Well, apparently, your base troops are more powerful with the dances. Well, it just... I can alternate between making them do more damage. I was getting healers out there at some point. Uh, but I, I, I was... Yeah, I was assuming you wouldn't be building much military yet, but looking at the military count, I mean, I killed well, I, mean, I had no option. <laughs> right, right, I killed them, but even before I... You, you just started building the military sooner than I thought you would have. Uh, right. Let's see, what else? Let's, look at, let's see how we did on idle villagers. I know I'm terrible. Oh, my God. Okay, at one point, you win the idle villagers. I'm the one who got the early jump on... I mean, we both got these terrible spikes going here. In a competitive well, environment, McMaster, we would be, we would be toast. Swear my... Villagers are spiking right there. Is where I have them attacking you. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, that's a different. That is, I guess is that idleness. It really. Uh, I guess it's idleness. You're not gathering, but uh, yeah. Uh, do villagers attacking really hurt? Because they look scary. When I got a bunch of Cure Dubois shooting at me, I'm like, oh my god, they're skirmishers. <laughs> they don't, or they something. don't do much yeah. of anything. Though. They're they're kind of uh, kind of weak. Your favorite military unit, Wingmaster, and I'm not surprised. The pikemen. Seeing as how I was rolling up a bunch they're of rolling cheap. out, they're cheap, and, and you know I have cavalry, and there's no two ways about it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, there's no, I have no option on that one. So I have two flavors of cavalry. One is uh, axemen, who are melee cavalry, but I was exclusively building the bow cavalry, yeah, thinking because that I can't I, chase them. Yeah, exactly, because I, mean, I could kite your guys away, and uh, yeah. I, mean, I can't build bow cavalry until age three. So I, mean, I can't even catch you. Now, were you close to getting to age three? Was that ever a, a no, factor? No, no, okay. no. I had to, I, my, my villagers are really expensive. Right. And I just <laughs> figured, too, by forcing you to build military, it would forestall age three. Uh, yeah. Because I'm really scared. I think if you get to age three, I'm dead. 
I mean, I once mean, you maybe, get out, yeah. once if you get out of fortress, fortress, I can't. Fortress last time yeah. it would have been different too. Because I have to get to age three to do my my uh, Sue dance that does extra damage against buildings, and that's the equivalent right. of my artillery. Uh, so if you had managed to get to age three, uh, yeah, I would have been screwed. And I don't know how if you could turtle very well against these guys because I can just run no. right past those outposts. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. With yeah, my <laughs> with my war chief alive, the buff all of the Native American war chiefs give a buff to nearby armies, and the buff the Sioux war chief gives his units is extra speed. So whenever my war chief is alive, and you see that little buff pattern at their feet, they're really booking. They're going super fast. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I couldn't catch you. All right. Well, McMaster, that was uh, that was this this Wednesday's Age of Empires three. Uh, we're still going, right? Next Wednesday. Oh yeah, of course. Do you want to try these sides again, or should we sort of uh, say yeah? Uh, we... Yeah, we can try them again. Okay. I, just, I don't I don't think it's going to change too much. So if, I, if well, you, you sort of to do that. you sort of see my strategy, and I'm not sure I can vary it much, knowing that fortresses and artillery will will be toast. So. I don't know if there's any way to counter it, but at least you kind of know what I'm going to do. So Yeah, I mean, I just, I'd have to build Bowman or something. I mean, Pikemen aren't going to work. Uh, but now well, that, they will, but I mean... Now that I know you're going to build Bowman, I'm going to build anti-infantry infantry instead hmm. of cavalry. So. I'll just build both. <laughs> Ain't no way. That's not fair. <laughs> it's totally fair. I do want to look at one thing. Master, go to awards. Um, oh, God. So... How many, uh, uh, let's see, what in-game experience did you get? I'm curious. So I got 5,067. Can you see where it says that? In-game, I got 4,116. Okay. And what about, oh, award experience from above is for prizes. Bonus XP, what does that mean? And do you I have that as well? I got 75%. I wonder if that's a online setting. I don't know what that is. Uh, and then I, you, when you win, you just get a little 2,000 point. Bonus. Right. Yeah. Which I didn't get. What is your current experience at? Because I'm at 447,125. 431,321. It's very close, McMaster. Very close. It's weird, though, because, like, uh, oh, he won last week, too. That was a really long game. That's yeah, yeah. Last, well, last yeah. week, I imagine, just by, by virtue of all the stuff that was killed and built, right. uh, our in game experience was probably pretty considerable. Yeah. Right, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. McMaster, you did win most military units and most improvements. Well, that's with, a, with a single improvement, you won <laughs> yeah. most improvements. Yeah, with my grain silo. <laughs> Whoa, most resources. Wait a minute. Let's look at the resources. Uh, okay, food was... Oh, no, no. No, you kicked my ass at food. Nice work. No, uh, I didn't have wood or... Well, maybe wood. Yeah, wood and gold. No, I stopped. Uh, I stopped producing wood after a while. I started trying to make cavalry. McMaster, you didn't get a single treasure with your explorer. You actually no. missed. There was some muskrats right near your base. I basically, yeah. I basically ninja, I, I ganked your muskrats. I always forget that he can do the assassination shot thing. Um, so I was, I was trying to build like a couple of native units to uh, clear. Oh, that's what you would do with the Seminole down there. Do you know what yeah. they would have given you? What kind of units they would have given you? Oh, I did. Uh, it was Bowman. Okay. Uh, I made a few. Because um, that's my reluctance know. with those native settlements is I don't know the game well enough to to know what I'm going to get for a particular settlement, so I basically yeah, don't bother. Uh, uh, I'm probably not going to bother in the future. For some reason, I thought that I could get early troops out of it, but I could not. So, uh, oh, can you not build till a certain age, or it's just too expensive? Yeah, well, those guys, may, I mean, I think you can with some of the other ones, but those were age two. And that's the I thing, too, is I, the game moves a little bit too quickly for me to actually hover over the tooltip and read up yeah. on each of the native settlements. So I'm kind of like, oh, eh. yeah. I wonder, well, I was going to say, I wonder if we should pause at the beginning of the game, but I, you don't have the ability to look at them. Like as soon as the map loads, I know exactly oh, where all of those yeah, are. That's a yeah. that's a Native American bonus. Uh, right. So I was thinking it wouldn't be very fair actually if we paused and let me read all of those. But yet you would have to read them in the heat of battle. That would not be fair, yeah, probably. Yeah, that, that prob probably <laughs> not. I mean, not. Yeah, probably not in the end. Yeah. Uh, all right, so McMaster, we're at we're at three to one, uh, France versus the Sioux. Uh, I, I thank everyone for, for watching, and we will be back next week uh, with at least one more attempt of this at this matchup. 
Uh, and afterwards, we'll see if we should switch it up or, or stick with this. All right. Sounds good.